Okay. So I'm going to call this um, Amherst Recreation Meeting, Commission Meeting to order at 6.03 p.m. And here's my little script. Pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the Open Meeting Law, General Law Chapter 30A, Section 18, this meeting of Amherst Recreation Commission is being conducted via remote participation. We're going to do a roll call um, to make sure everybody's mics are working. And I, I see Becky. Becky Demling here. Uh, Carolyn. Carolyn Mailer here. Oh, no, there's Sarah. <laughs> oh, there's Stephanie. Okay, I see people now. <laughs> Sarah Marshall's here. And Stephanie. Stephanie Jackson here. Uh, anything else I gotta say? We are being recorded to the web and could be shown on Amherst Media and broadcast on the Town of Amherst YouTube channel, which we have been. Um, and then, yeah, I guess that's it. We call this meeting to order. Sounds good. Marion, do we have, because I, I don't have access to this now, do we have any um, visitors, any um, attendees? We have no attendees. Okay. Seeing that it is well, not quite 610 and we can come back to it and put it in the uh, untimed agenda items if we need to. We, let's go ahead and move forward then if no one has any objection. So, and I skipped approval of the minutes. So yeah. actually let's do that first. <laughs> I did that last time, I think too. So is there any um, changes any? to last month's minutes? Yeah, go ahead, Mary. Take it. Um, yeah, is there any adjustments that need to be made to the minutes? Looks good to me. They're all good? Whoa. Good to me. All, all right. right. All in favor? Or, well, yeah. Motion to improve last month's minutes? Second. Second. All in favor? Yes. All righty. Logos. Yep. Oh. So I'll turn it over to Marion. Okay. Um, so the logo that we chose was um, the artwork by uh, Nikki Abelli, actually. And so, which is really nice for a couple of reasons because it's done in-house, we can ask her very easily to make those adjustments um, that may be needed. And, and as we build out our, um, our brand kit, like with everything that we might need, business cards or all that kind of stuff, apparel, if we're gonna stick it on shirts and whatnot, um, we'll be able to ask her to make those adjustments without having to pay an artist. And also the program that she uses is Canva and that's a really easy program to access and you can add as many people to your creative team as you want. And so let's say something has to be done last minute. It's kind of great that, you know, I can jump in and, and play with it as well. Um, so I can't remember now, did we look at it last meeting? Did we see we the actual- can, can you bring it up though? The, uh, that you last time we looked at all five, I think so. Right. We haven't seen announced the winner in a meeting. Right. And I think that we probably, I don't know, Meg, I, I'll just defer to you, but it seems like maybe we should make, we should take a vote as to approve it as our, as sort of, it's it's sort of a non-official logo because, you know, obviously the town logo supersedes um, this logo. This is sort of the informal logo. I don't know how we want to refer to it, but, you know, it, I Departmental logo. Department, yeah. Departmental logo. So somehow we should come up with some wording and probably have a vote on it. But do I we want to do that before we make any alterations to it? I think that let's talk about it. And I'm going to let Marion, can you bring it up? Yeah. Let's yep. See let it. me um, talk let about the, the winner. Um, it certainly lends itself to, um, I mean, there are two comments that we clearly heard the last time. One that the the name Amherst Recreation should be larger. 
and um, perhaps we that these the little uh, icons and things, uh, you know, whether it's the fireworks or, the, or the, the dumbbell, those could be interchangeable depending on what the sport is or what the season is, I said, or the sport of the season. So, you know, all that can be could be changed um, as we see fit, but this this could be sort of the standard, you know, the the, um, the template, if you will. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's she gave us two options, obviously, like I think on the website and whenever we're doing something digitally, I think it's nice to have a color image. But um, yeah, so like you said, Barb, we can always it's pretty simple to play with these little pieces and move them around or make one bigger or maybe we don't even like the dumbbell. I don't know. So anyway, yeah. Becky, did you have a comment? Actually, Sarah had her hand raised first. Oh, so. oh okay, okay. Uh, I'm so glad this was the, the popular winner, but um, I'm curious, maybe it's just because I'm not a golfer, it looks like there's a halo on the golf ball. So what's that about? Anybody I know? <laughs> that, that's supposed to be the club coming toward it, the club face. Oh, uh, oh, perhaps, okay. but I could help her with that. Maybe hash. Well, no, it's not a putt. So, okay. And I'm not even sure you need it. That could All right. Probably, yeah. <laughs> this was a halo. Thank you. It does look very angelic. Yes. <laughs> That's a good point, though. Okay. Becky, what was your comment now? Um, my comment was that I had kind of wanted to take the dumbbell and put something swimming themed. Mm -hmm. um, because. Yeah. Seth such a large part of what we do is related to the pool in our aquatics program. Um, so I wanted to put that just out there that I think that's great feedback. I, I, I would agree. Yeah. I was going to say the same thing, <clears throat> replacing that with something swimming related. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I had a thought on, well, I guess it's more of a curious question but so a couple of the other ones I, most of you don't know this but a couple of the other ones that we put into the bow I did them on Canva when we were meeting oh my gosh I guess that, was that December maybe um and when I was doing them I don't know if you can actually change out those pictures this is one that I didn't pick actually when I went through um I was kind of torn with with this particular image when I was going through picking images, but um, I didn't do this one. I don't remember why now, but I don't know if you can actually change out individual pictures on there. Like the ones that I did, there was like a clock or something on one of them, um, but I couldn't like switch out specific parts of that image. Like that's just one of their pre-made pictures that should use. Well, let's let's uh let's let her take a look at it and see what she yeah. can use. But well, I, congratulations. I, I I, yeah, I thought when I talked to her she said she could change them. So let's just yeah. see. Okay. Yeah. It, you yeah. know may not yeah I'm I'm not sure. But let me just double check. Regardless, it what was the? I mean, it was pretty substantial, wasn't it, Marion? In terms of this, the vote, the count, yeah, the poll. Um, I could, I could look around for it if you want me to grab it, but there was, um, there was a pretty big lead um, in the designs for this one to be the winner. I think the other one next was um, another one of Nikki's designs, actually. Um, I think it was this one. Um, that was the second place. And then there was. Um, I don't see anything new. Oh, you don't see no. a new thing with the little circles. Do you not no. see that? No. Oh, OK. Um, hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Well. 
Oh, but the circle, you're saying the four circles in a row or whatever. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was second yeah. place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're um, currently using the um, the winter. We use the Winterfest, her new Winterfest logo. Obviously, we'll have to play with that stuff, kind of based on on events too, because I know we kind of build out logos for special events too, like the Fourth of July thing and the. Um, do we do one for Halloween? Halloween? Yeah, maybe. So. I like the one Nikki did for Winterfest and we could always look and refresh the other ones too, but yeah. Sarah? How many people approximately voted? Cast votes? A um, hundred, uh, was it 136 or something, Barb? Something yeah. like that? Great. Yeah, it was, well over a hundred. Okay. Yeah, it was a pretty nice, nice size uh, group, yeah. If you want, um, I can find the poll. It's in my email no, somewhere. No, no, no. I was just hoping it was more than 18. You know, oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah, it was it was definitely by a mile. <laughs> Which is good. That's the kind oh. and it was one that we all liked, I think anyway, when yeah. we were looking at it initially. Yeah. So Meg, do we um, want to take a vote that we're let's I'm not sure how we would do this, but to, to accept this as, you know, with revisions as the as suggested by the commission. Sure. Yeah. So um, I will motion to approve the, well, this logo. Um, oh, so the draft, a draft logo or, oh, you're frozen, Meg. Oh, dear. She's in a car, I think. <laughs> yeah, she is. She's on her way home from work. Uh, oh, can dear. anybody, can any of us move? Um, yeah, you can. Oh, oh here she's back. Okay. Is that better? Yeah, we just pulled in the driveway, and so I ju it jumped onto the house Wi-Fi. <laughs> uh -huh. um, yeah. So okay, so we mo I'll motion to approve this draft version of the logo. Second, with upcoming potential Second. changes. Right. Hey, there's Yusuf. With upcoming potential. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is there a second? Second. All sorry, in favor? Be Becky, second. Yep. Oh. So all in favor. Got everybody. Yousef, I can't see everybody on my. Sorry, Yusuf so. just came in and Yusuf were approving the logo as a draft, basically with yeah. some potential uh, small revisions. <laughs> so is everyone's in favor then? There are no opposition? All good? Correct, I believe. Okay then. And Marion, if you wanna turn the meeting over to me, thank you very much. I really appreciate Absolutely. this. And congratulations. And this together. Uh, really fabulous. Um, good job with this. I mean, we've, we have a logo, we have a new name. This is really <laughs> Such in-house talent. That's wonderful. Yes, I know. Oh, and I should mention, um, I think we're going to use our, our summer program guide as the official like rollout. There's going to be a big sort of to do mentioning, um, Nikki's work and, uh, on the page where the director would have her paragraph, but this director will not. You will. Um, <laughs> but someone will. Well. Yeah. No, I yeah. will. Yeah, a I farewell will because, page. Uh, yeah, it will be out before I retire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It'll come out probably uh, late March, early April. So oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, soon. So anyway. All right. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to turn this over to you. Make co-host. Okay, and now, wait, if you're a co-host, I can leave, right? Great, Amanda. Okay, all right, bye, everybody. Bye, bye, Mary. Bye, bye. thank bye. you. Take care. Bye. Bye, bye Mary, thank, thank you very uh, much, Marian. Uh, okay. Let me see. just trying to play with my buttons now, all right. <laughs> Make sure I, now I'm in control here. All yes, right. it says you Got are. It. You are now the host. Right. <laughs> so.
Next on the agenda is Cherry Hill. Um, so uh, Paul and I met recently and we uh, discussed how we wanna proceed with Cherry Hill. And um, because I'm retiring, I, I think, you know, we kind of came to the conclusion that now is probably not the best time to make any kind of changes or pull together an advisory committee that really the next director should be the one that kind of um, oversees that um, transition and, and kind of development of what's going to happen there. Um, and, and actually, I, I think this is a good time. We've had a great season. Um, there's certainly, um, so we're in a good position, uh, which will be, you know, it's valuable to kind of keep some of the council members, you know, not, you know, keep their concern level lower, if you will. Um, so I think that that is the sort of the decision that's come about. So that'll be put on hold going forward. Um, let's see, Yusef, did you have anything to add? Did you, you had said that you had maybe- yeah. I, No, I, I, I emailed Paul and I said, hey, you know, I don't know what, you know, since I haven't heard anything, I'm assuming stuff is on hold. I kind of left it as vague, but I said, mm -hmm. even if it's not an official committee, I think it might be a good idea to have some kind of ad hoc committee to work with Nick um and help him out you know because he's yeah. you, know, you have you don't have much staff and if that if that no more staff's gonna be allocated we may stay the same and maybe make a little bit of money but you know it's gonna stress out the staff a lot so my opinion was to try to get some people involved and maybe give them some volunteer help and stuff like that but you know we'll see I, what he I think um i made it pretty clear to you Seth, that to hit to paul that there you know let's face it i think that most of our programs for the summer are going to um, going to happen. They're going to happen maybe on a little bit smaller scale, but the the amount of work that goes into planning and pulling it off is going to be probably greater because of all the different protocols that'll still need to be put in place because of COVID. So um, you know now is not the time to say, well, let's we're going to allocate all our full time staff uh, to Cherry Hill. It's not going to happen this spring. So he's aware of that. Um, we'll probably be bringing back, hopefully, some of the, the folks that worked for us before. Um, we'll certainly be recruiting um, some more part-time people. But Nick will still be in charge of overseeing the operations there, the clubhouse operations. Obviously, John handles the uh, course operations. But yeah, he still will have a big part of it. And that was, that was also in his job description when he was hired. There was a change in his job description to include Cherry Hill as part of his responsibilities. So it wasn't something that, just so you know, that wasn't mm -hmm. added um, later. No, I knew that. I just, you know, right. I figured he can use the help, especially if you're going to have other programs, you know. Absolutely. Yep. So that's where we are there. Any other? Yeah, Sarah. So I, let me put my hand up. Um, I forget, I forget the charge and, and what I'm wondering, and so I hope someone will remind me, but what I want to say that may or may not be relevant is if the charge has to do with its the year round uses maybe of the facility, uh, let the record show that this has been a spectacular season for cross country skiing. Mm -hmm. I mean, and there has been so rarely, <laughs> you know, basically any opportunity to ski there and the Amherst uh, the high school's Nordic team and maybe middle school this year, I don't even know, have been able to practice there, which they, I don't think they've ever done. And they had their first ever meet, Nordic meet ever oh, wow. at Cherry Hill that's this winter. That's so great. Yeah. And a team of volunteers, I gather from, from Barb has been um, grooming it. And that place has been super heavily used just by local skiers. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As long as we have snow, or maybe someday can make snow, there'd you know, be clear potential for wintertime use of the clubhouse also. So. But Absolutely. anyway, can someone remind me what the, char what well, the charge, charge is, actually is? I don't have it in front of me, but if my memory serves me right, it's basically looking at all aspects, whether it's year round, um, golf oper you know, current golf operations, management, and year-round usage, so yeah, combination of all of the above, and it, it isn't going to be just like us, 
and I think I talked to you about this, like a three or four month deal. This is at least a year that people would be appointed to really evaluate, dig into and do some comparisons at other, you know, municipal courses and so forth and, you know, come up with some recommendations or, or not, I don't know. But I guess I have to, you know, for the record, really grateful for the volunteers from the Amherst Nordic Ski uh, Club who have helped us this year, just been kind of filled in for John, who's been out with shoulder injury and uh, they, they really stepped up and boy, that, it's in great shape. So just appreciate appreciative of their help for sure. Okay, any other questions about Cherry Hill? Let's move on. Uh, aquatics programming. So the indoor season, just, I think, I don't remember if I mentioned last, that the last meeting, there were some issues with um, mechanical issues at the ind indoor pool or the middle school pool. And so what had to happen is that the filtration system has to be replaced. And as we know, that's, that's a pretty major project. So we're probably not looking uh, to have that open until sometime in April, uh, again, which means, and again, I think we talked about this, that we, we won't um, have an indoor you know, aquatics program this year. Uh, it's too bad, you know, we were kind of looking forward to being able to do something based on the successes that we had uh, during the summer. Uh, so, you know, I proposed, I have proposed to Paul that we could open up early, a little earlier than normal um, uh, we would normally open up, I believe it was the 26th of June, uh, but hopefully we could open up at least a week earlier, maybe two, depending on how many staff we have at Mill mm -hmm. River. So one of the pools would be open earlier to kind of make up for that kind of lapse of an indoor season this year. Great. Question? Do you, um... Do you know anything about the staff for the summer? Because it sounded like a lot of the kids aren't coming back this year. Uh, we we haven't put it out. Uh, Paul and I will start working on that. Actually, we just uh, had a phone conversation. Interesting enough, and uh, we'll put something out to the old to to the former staff who mm -hmm. worked there last year. Next week, within the next two weeks, at least, probably hopefully next week, just yeah. to get a handle on how many people might be coming back. Um, I, where do you think they're going to work, you know, or? <laughs> um, I, well, it sounded like, I can't ask Aaliyah right now, but it sounded like she had been talking to the other guards and stuff. And yeah. it sounded like a lot of them are just growing up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like... yeah, it happens. It, it, is, it, it can be a so. transition. Like we'll have, we'll have a lot of the same guards for a couple of years and then all right. of a sudden, oh, where'd everybody go? And so, you yeah. know. Uh, we're working with Belchertown, uh, MJ Fernia, who used to work for me, uh, mm -hmm. is, is now the aquatics director in, in Belchertown, and I uh, actually talked to her today, and she's offering a lifeguard training class in April. Oh, nice. So we're going to put that out, and then she, uh, her and Cassie uh, Curry are going to be doing some research. So between that and, you know, get, there are some other courses that are happening, hopefully we'll be able to fill our yeah. Our staff. Do you want to send me a blurb on that for the high school newsletter? I will. I don't have the dates yet. She still yeah, hasn't given me the dates. When you get them. Yes, I'll absolutely. Put it in the high school newsletter. So they would do it at the community pool up there? They, yeah, in Belchertown. Yeah. Just want to make sure I write that down. All right. Any other questions on aquatics comments? Okay. Uh, child care remote learning access program. As I emailed you all, you know that the um, program was came to a screeching halt, <laughs> and uh, we were fortunate. Thank goodness this happened with the February vacation break, because that really would have made a much more negative impact on uh, the kids that we serve and their parents. So we were able to start the program up. We didn't get a lot of heads up that, uh, you know, that we were trying to figure out what was going on. We had heard that there was gonna be an, 
a meeting last Thursday night and then didn't hear until after three o'clock on Friday from actually one of our student employees um, that in fact, they could return to work if they brought their proof of, of a negative COVID test. So we required that and we, we had them come back on, on Tuesday, yesterday. So they missed four days uh, total, which is not too bad considering it could have been much more significant. So we're back up and running and um, we're accepting new students. Oh, I don't know I was... where, you know, we're going in terms of uh, in school. Uh, what, Sarah? Sorry, do, do families apply through the rec department? Is that, how do they register? They are, yeah, they, they actually are referred to us through the schools. If we get someone who inquires about the program, we funnel them to the schools, the school department. The school department actually is sort of the liaison and, and um, gives us those basically then filters, you know, through that and recommends the kids to the program. And, they all, and they're working with the principals as well, working hand in hand with the principals to refer the children to, the, to this and program. The, and, they're, and they're all called the distance learning centers. Is that the name of it? Does it have a name? We, we call it prime time. Do you? Okay. <laughs> but okay. that's what we called our after school program. Right. And it is, you know, it's basically, well, it's going to be distant learning. We call it remote learning assistance. That's what the state calls it. And that's what our license um, is in it slash child care. So and that's what our, we are licensed school age child care. Okay, good. Uh, no other questions. I'll move on. So we're at director's report. Um, all right, uh, bas basketball program. We have 84 kids in that program, which I think is fabulous. And uh, boy, they absolutely love it. It's going really well. It ends in mid-March, just a super program. And Nick's doing a fantastic job with that. Uh, I think I may have talked about this before, but if you're not aware, we have a program that's called Winter Walks with Amherst Recreation. So we're utilizing both Groff Park and Mill River for that program. And they're basically signs that children and, and parents can go to the various uh, activities, do various activities at each of the stations. And that's again, been really well received. Our recess van program has ended for now, although um, the Amherst Police Department has approached us about including uh, them and they're trying to look for a grant because, you know, Winston the dog, very, you know, this, the happy dog, um, and uh, Bill Laramie, yeah, very interested in, in joining us and sort of coming along with us to the different housing areas and different sites and the free lunch sites and so forth and providing recess activities, which I think would be really cool. So we're looking, I should say APD is looking for a grant for that, which is neat. I talked about the aquatics program and um, the golf course. It was just, I think really exciting that the Nordic ski team had their first ever meet there. That was so cool. Just really great. Um, very happy that happened. And we've talked about the remote uh, learning assistance program. We currently have 38 slots and I think we're about 90 something percent full right now. We do have, it is it is kind of transient. There's sometimes, you know, kids come and go, withdraw, whatever, depending on the circumstances of the parents. So, but we've kind of prepared ourselves for that. We're in the process of a recruiting spring and adult youth education instructors. That, what? that door, the garage was open. Oh, and I'm in a meeting. <laughs> then, so, all right. And then we had, um, of course, the ice sculptures on the common. Thank you for everyone. Thank you, Jacob, <laughs> for your help. That was fabulous. A great flaky. Um, we had someone estimated 2,000 vehicles. I'm not sure how they did the math, but um, they figured out that there were at least 2,000 vehicles that went by. And I don't think that included people who would come during the day 
and either walk oh, by or drive by. Yeah, it was like, really cool. I calculated how many car, how long it took one car to go from one side to the other and multiplied it by the number of cars that I saw waiting. So that's as close as I could get. <laughs> yeah, so you're the one that, that's right. Yeah. You're the one that came up with that. That's good. That, well, that, that works for me. That's <laughs> Everybody it was really loved. busy. It was busy and we had such great feedback. It was so neat. I'm so happy that happened. So it was good, good, good. So name change we've talked about, uh, website upgrades still moving along. Everything's good there. We're just about complete. Now it's just a, a question of staff getting trained on the new system. Uh, and I will report, let's see, Donna is still working with the finance department on the CARES and FEMA grants. So she's a good 10 to 15 hours the finance department. Mm -hmm. And uh, Marion is working now 25 plus hours with the health department, uh, assisting public with phone calls, emails, and registrations for vaccines. And if you, of course, read the paper, you know that now we, we're part of the, um, the regional vaccine uh, sites, which is, that that's great. That's good news. Uh, can't happen fast enough. Yeah. I don't know if any of you guys meet the criteria age, but it's been extremely frustrating uh, to get an appointment. Uh, let's see. So I think that's really it. Uh, are there any, any qu other questions? or comments from the commission. I assume that uh, the basketball program has operated with no known COVID cases. Correct. No known, no, no that's, for our knowledge. And that's great. Uh, that's you know, we, <laughs> we have really, we use the same strict protocols that we use at the child care, you know, at prime time. And uh, we have a no incidence uh, there as well. Can you, oh. Go ahead. I just, can you remind me at least when you're retiring at the end of June? Or My official retirement date is uh, June 12th. Oh. Um, but my I'm won't I, I'm leaving on May 12th so I'll be taking that last part as a vacation so my I'll be gone on May 12th I may come back depending on how things are going for the summer to help out <laughs> you know in terms of you know in June that's not right that's <laughs> no, I, I was taking vacation I was planning my my niece is getting married so I was planning to go um, you know, anyways, to that before I decided to retire. And then I thought, well, like, hey, I could stay a little longer now. So, but I can, I can come back a little earlier if necessary. Paul is returning, Paul Holden, um, at least in through July. So he'll, that, that'll be a big help. Oh, great job. Becky? Um, I have two questions. Um, one from a neighbor. Um, will there be summer camps and when will signups come out? Because those are going to be very coveted. Yeah, they will many be. Families. Do you have a date question. for that? We don't have a date yet. Um, Marion, uh, I think she, she alluded to the fact that we we're trying to get the brochure out by April. So it would come out hopefully in April and that's when signups would begin. Uh, will be a, a smaller number of slots available just because of the COVID restrictions. So we're probably looking at serving 30 to 40% capacity, hopefully, hopefully 40. Uh, talking to some of the other, we had, a, we had an association meeting of all the parks and recs in uh, the Pioneer Valley today. And it's the same, everyone's dealing with the same sort of issue is that we, we're we gonna open, but it's it, unfortunately we can't open to as many kids as we would normally serve, which would be a, for us, a hundred kids a week. And there's not the space, if we could get teachers, counselors to run more sessions? There's, uh, well, it's not a question. Well, there's only so many sessions. School is gonna start earlier. Next but I mean, like there could be, 
two, two happening at the same time in different places for the same age group? If we're actually going to have four, four different sections. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's so we have to occupy quite a bit. Of, we'll take over both cafeterias, quite possibly the, um, the gym, the area that we're in now, the exercise rooms. I mean, you, know, you have to spread out so much, it's all square footage. So it makes it uh, challenging. <clears throat> and then my other question was about 4th of July, whether or not that's happening in any capacity this year. Mm, another good question. And again, it looks like it won't be happening this year. Um, there are a number of communities that have already canceled. Some communities are postponing till the fall, which uh, it wouldn't work for us because ours is at UMass. Obviously the students would be back in school in September and just talk about folks doing it on Labor Day. Uh, so in UMass, uh, we haven't talked to them. So um, we'll have to have a conversation of course, but I'm not holding out a lot of hope that that can happen um, safely under the, under the uh, current, uh, you know, where we are in terms of COVID. So, I saw there was some activity in uh, in the park, uh, you know, on uh, what do you call it? Kendrick Park Kendrick playground. Park. Yeah, mm. yeah. How's that coming along? What's the story on that? Well, that's that's a good question. Um, I know DPW has started to do their share. So let me give you a quick update. They they of course, <clears throat> I think it was in the fall they laid the um, the pathway that goes yeah. sort of across there. They've done some excavation, it looks like. Uh, so I think that hopefully this spring, they've, they'll, we, I believe they've selected a contractor. So we should see some action on that this spring and hopefully it'll be done at least by the end of the summer. It shouldn't yeah. be, it's not that big of a project. It's exciting, yeah. Yeah, it's really mm -hmm. exciting. I've so heard that all the equipment is in hand. Yes. So. They're just waiting for the weather, I think, too. Right. Yeah, yeah the equipment, uh, I think it's still be, you know, like they did last time, I think they stored over on Station Road and the old horse farm there. And uh, so it's all there and ready to go, just waiting for the, the ground to thaw and snow to melt and all those good <laughs> things. Becky. Now, when the town first applied for Kendrick, there was some restriction that had to be built by like July 1 or something for the state portion of the grant, has that been pushed back given COVID and everything to allow for a later completion date? That's a good question. I don't have the answer to that. I can check into it. Uh, but again, like we do have everything here. So I'm hoping that, you know, it would actually be done by then. But I can check. I'll check with the planning department on that. Just making a note. Okay, any other questions, comments? No? Okay, Meg, turn it back over to you. All right, so we have to choose a date for our next meeting. Once again. So would that be the 24th? Does that work for everybody? Works for me. Hold on. We're, we're not, don't we usually meet on Thursdays? Have we moved to Wednesdays or am I just forgetting what? We've no. been on Wednesdays for quite a time, Has for it, a uh, long time. Yeah. Okay. I actually think we moved because you had your the CPAC meetings. For, right, right, right. And right. it seemed to work for everyone. Yeah, that's. That makes sense. So yeah, so the 24th? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, oh, Barb, <laughs> it's not gonna be the same without you here. Well, I'm not gone yet. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? I, st I just live around the corner, <laughs> not too far away. <laughs> 
I have a committee you might want to join. <laughs> there are probably <laughs> several. Uh, thank you. No, full Good time. Stuff. Yeah, so, this, has so, been, this has been great. The whole time we've been here, we have done, we've, we have improved so much and mm -hmm. it's been fantastic. And, you know, I totally appreciate your leadership this whole time. Oh, and, well, thank you. You know, the, just, just everything that you've brought to the table and everybody's just excited. So, you know, thank you for that. You're welcome. You know, four years, wow, just flew by. It did. I think, you know, I told the town manager I first took the job. He says, "Well, oh, probably three to five years," and I'm kind of looking at retirement. And he, but uh, wow, it just blew by. And yeah. uh, it was, you know, I had considered staying another year, but then I looked at everything. It's like, whoa, wait a minute, <laughs> <laughs> I can have this summer off. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So, no, you totally deserve it. <laughs> you yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That you how guys. Long, how long? I'm sorry. Go ahead. You guys. How have long just been were you in the department? Have you been in the? Twenty-one years. <gasps> wow. Twenty-one years. I know it's amazing. I can remember starting as just like, whoa, where to go? So. <laughs> That's a good way to finish. Yeah, I think we're we're in a we're gonna we're in a great position. We've got a path. We've got a plan. We've got a new name. We got a new logo. <laughs> We're on fire. <laughs> so I think with the next person that comes in, they're, you know, I think they're set up for success, hopefully. But, you know, I, you know, we, we, we can talk later, you know, it's staffing and we're in the middle of budget season. We're fighting for some positions and, and so forth, as always. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. hopefully we'll have, you know, this next person set up for success. That's the have goal. You, and then my goal is to make sure that the transition is as smooth as possible. Yeah. Have so you like heard Biden. at all when they're going to open the application process up? I haven't. I haven't heard. No. Uh, I know that we're going to be advertising for a part-time um, registrar because, you know, things are going to start kicking up again. Uh, Stephen who worked for us before has moved full-time over at town hall. So um, it's a part-time position. He was originally part-time us uh, in the collector's office and now he's full-time over there. So we'll be recruiting uh, for that position. Um, yeah, so no, I haven't heard. Although um, I know that the new human resource director who is fabulous uh, has is working on the job description and I've been had some input on that, which is good. So another um, thing we all should have in the back of our minds too is that Becky and I are done in June, <laughs> right? <laughs> What's it going to be next, ladies? <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> I just joined the chamber. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't miss much when you left today. Oh, that's good. <laughs> So I'm leaving the schools too. I'm done with the PGOs. So wow. I'm going to have to like reinvent myself. Yes. Ladies, we'll all yes. be ladies of leisure. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Work fills the, the empty space. Right. <laughs> yes, so the so we'll need, we, we will need two new commission members as well. That is actually a good point, and I will remind Paul of that. Is it June or August? We started in August, Meg. I know we started late, but isn't it until June thirtieth? Isn't it fiscal year? I'm not sure. I thought it was more floaty than that, but I have this somewhere. And you've both served two. Well, if not two complete terms. Or maybe this is our sixth but, year. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. And we, yeah, we had one like extension or maybe it was just like. It wasn't an extension. It was so much, it was that they delayed our reappointment to the second term until the new government was in, like the new. Right. Okay, so that's back. I would have quit. Um, yeah, it's June 30th, 2021. 
We're leaving with you, Barb. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they will carry on. They will carry on. They will. Admirably unsure. Maybe we'll, have, right. maybe, maybe we'll have the May meeting at the on the deck outside here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Sounds <laughs> good. All right. So that's it. Are we all set, Meg? So we can move to adjourn. Second. All in favor. Aye. Bye. All right. Everybody have a good evening. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Thank we'll see you <laughs> next right. month. If not stay healthy. Stay healthy. <laughs> Take care. Please, stay healthy. We're we're at the end of the uh what do you say? Getting we're toward the finish there. line. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So Take long. care, everyone. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.